Hello, welcome to Lori's DIY Life. Of course, I'm Lori. <coughs> I got this one in the Dashing Through the Snow one yesterday. And I made the Dashing Through the Snow one. The ink, the background, this came from a 6x6 six six tablet. Very pretty, but I really debated yesterday which one to make. So today, I'm going to make this one. And I've got from that same 6x6 six six paper pad, because the die is, I believe, 5.5 about five and a half um so this six by six paper pad's gonna work and i'm gonna do a six by six card so i thought i would use this and then gold paper and what i thought i would do is just kind of add a little bit extra inking I don't know if it's going to mess it up. I don't know. It's just something I thought and figured I wanted to try. So here we are. I'm going to try it. So I want just a little bit of gold. More goldy up here, but not a lot. So I'm just I'm gonna put this very lightly. I'm gonna go over this with some yellow. And I don't wanna really lose all of that. Right. Because I oh look what it did. Uh, shoot, how did that happen? I don't know. We have to watch that stuff, don't we? And then... I'm going to leave the town like this. I just wanted to get a little bit more of that kind of yellow gold up there. And then... What I have to do, what I had to do in that one, was cut the paper down to the size of the dive. That was the shape. I don't know if I'm going to need to on this one. So this may work for the background, and I may not need to pull in another. Oh, that one opened so nice, look at that. Yay. And then we got the sticker that says, Star of Wonder, Star of Night. I thought it was Star of Light. But anyways. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to keep out of the bag, the bag, box, whatever. This part opened easily, but that sure didn't want to open easily. And, of course, I'm going to cut this out of gold paper. And I'm going to bring in my Sizzix switch plates. And this will go first. And then this. And I have my cutting plate and then my paper. See, that may just, oh, look, I don't even need the whole thing, so. What am I doing? This is the wrong paper. Oh, I need the gold on here. The gold's the one I want. Okay. I'm going to angle it a little bit. Man, I am wasting some paper like this. Let me come up here. This paper came... 
his crafter's companion. But I don't really know. I'm not positive on that. So, let me put this out of the way. That's my paper cutter. I'm sure I'll be needing that in a minute. Okay. All right, let's stick this in. Hopefully that doesn't move. Okay, if you didn't watch yesterday's video, you know I never could pause video on my phone. It just wasn't something that was there that it was available to me to do. So a lot of my videos run long because I can't hit pause. And if I put two together, I have to do it through the editor that makes that... Um, Gives the sight, blurry sight thing, and I don't like that. And so, of course, yesterday I dropped my phone in water. Oops, sorry about that. And it messed up some things on my phone. Well, so I'm videoing, but my phone's still kind of working. I was videoing yesterday and all of a sudden it pauses I'm like what now I have a pause button on my video so now if I need to pause it I can pause it which I still won't a lot I mean every times I will yeah but I wouldn't a lot because I want you to see me doing everything that's part of my thing so that you know because man I mess up a lot and that's what I want you to see that sometimes look at that didn't finish cutting ah, here we go again this happened the other day to me with one of their dies and it looks like it's going to happen again so all I can do is try it again. This is the kind of stuff. See, this is why. This is the kind of stuff that I want you to see. This stuff happens. It's not perfect all the time. Easy, like some of these people's videos make you think. And then you're like, well, welcome mine didn't turn out like theirs and how come I'm having all this trouble and really it's nothing to do with you that's just the way things are nothing works perfect like that okay so I'm going to try putting it through and bringing it back the dang thing moved. Let me see. Putting it through. Whoa, that was a loud pop. When I think it's gone through enough that it's cleared, okay, that's it, right? I'm going to bring it back. And let's see if that worked. Nope, still not enough. Darn it. But man, isn't that pretty? And you almost want to say it doesn't matter. Because it's just that pretty if you could just get the edges out, right? But we want our... See... 
So let me get another sheet of paper because now I wasted a whole sheet of paper. And the paper is just right here, so. I don't even know what you would call it. It's, it's not mirror. I don't know, some kind of metallic something or other. Okay. And see, this is why the videos end up taking so long, and I should be pausing it and doing all of this, but then you're not seeing what I'm really going through. Right? I don't know. So what I'm going to do is add maybe some kind of shim. to this. Oh, that's not good enough. Um, here's the one I used to check the colors on the diamond press. Let me try to get that in there a little straighter. There we go. Now if it moves, I won't know. Okay, so I put that in there. Now, sometimes I put it on just the top of this. And on the switch, it doesn't bother it. It goes right through. No problem. But this time, I'm going to try it this way. And, and it goes. And it's taking it in. Didn't hear a big as a clunk this time. I'm going to bring it back. And honestly, I'm thinking about putting it back through one more time. Okay. So I'm going to put it back through another time. One more time, and then I'll bring it back again. Okay, that should be it. And bring it back. I don't know if it's the intricate dies. I don't know if it's the way they do their dies. Um, I haven't tried them on the Gemini. So, it still didn't cut all the way through. You can see there. So, I'm going to move it. To a different spot. I'm going to leave that shim in. And I might add another. Let me do this. Add this one and this one. And let's try it now. And we'll see what happens. I had to um, give up one of them the other day because I couldn't get it to cut in the um, switch. So I don't want to have to give this one up. This one I really look forward to. Both of these dies, the dashing through the snow and this one were both of them that I really wanted. Okay, so it went through and back, and I'm gonna send it one more time and see if that helps. This should do something. Okay, and I'm gonna bring it back. Oops, sorry. 
hopefully this time it'll have cut through. If it doesn't, I don't want to over um, work my machine when it gets too heavy. So it looks like it's mostly cut this time. All right, so pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna set this up. What I love about this machine is my plates will sit right up on top of the machine out of the way. So it looks like some of these are gonna come out easier than others. And this is some thick paper, but still. Look how pretty that is. I just love it. You know, when you're weeding it like this is when it starts to come to life for you, right? I mean, it looked pretty before it cut out, because I was even saying, wow, you know, just the embossed bit of it looked so good with it just embossed and not even actually cut all the way so pretty let's see like that didn't take it took some of it with it. Okay. So pretty. And there's some pieces in here so tiny to cut out. Now, in the other one, I did light down at the bottom because of, um, basically because the lights of the town, right? But I feel like back in these days, right, they didn't have electricity, so you might have had a little bit of light from the town, but it wouldn't have been that much so that looks good with that paper um I need to trim it down obviously not too much it's pretty on there the problem is this needs some kind of grounding right It needs something. So that makes me think I need to go back and do like I did the other one. Put a background paper. Use this background for this, but then put a background paper. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and glue that on here. And I'm going to come back and trim, trim it. I can run it through with the die, just the frame part, um, and get the perfect size, but right now, let's just get this on here and go in, and I'm going to kind of just get that glue in the bigger parts.
I think there's enough of those to keep it on. So some things with my phone is working. Some things with my phone right now is not working. I think I'm just lucky. To have a phone after dropping it in the water, I thought it was dusted, but I'm supposed to go today and get a new one, which I'm not looking forward to spending the money for, but oh, we have to, I guess. At this point, you do, because you have to have a phone that works, right? We don't have home phones no more. So, really, cell phones are not an option anymore, right? I mean, we all have them. I thought I saw peace. There it is. It wasn't taken out. Okay. How could I? I see, this is drying really fast. I think so dry. Okay, I kind of want to get that star by yellow. Okay. Some of these things look like they should have been cut, but really it's just embossing. And all I'm going to do now is just take my scissors and trim along this edge and you could do it with your trimmer if you want but I like to be able to feel that edge so I then know that I'm not cutting that edge off of the dot you know the edge the die edge so And this probably would have been a nice card for the um, nativity papers. Oops. I didn't stay close, did I? And I... There we go. So really, that's all you need to do to, you know, so that way you can just glue it down. It's easier and you can decide exactly where you want it to be and stuff instead of after you've glued it down. So there it is, I think. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, and I'm just thinking black is the way to go with this card and I'll show ya what did I do with my black paper pad I was I had it last night and I thought that I had decided I wanted to keep it somewhere close oh wait I wonder if this be too much. I have this here from the other day. So if we did say here and here, I think that works. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Let's say I don't have paper cutter. I don't want to cut it with a paper cutter. I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to double the size of how much I want around the ring of around the edge so this is going to give me half of this and half of this around the edge and I just hold that on the card now I don't want it that big so I'm just going to say like this and then you turn it over 
and you just do like I just did with that. You use your card blank as your guide of where to cut. And honestly, sometimes I end up with a better straighter cut this way than when I use my paper trimmer. Um, sometimes when I use my paper trimmer, it, for some reason, it doesn't always cut straight. And sometimes using that method that I just did right there, it comes out straighter. Now, I did mess up right here. So I just come back. I just reposition it and just come back and cut that off. And there we go. Right there. See? Like that. Okay, and then this will go here, and I think that looks like a starry night. Okay, so I'm going to glue this down. When I was making the video yesterday, I was talking about my phone being messed up. When I was making that video yesterday, my phone kept making a weird noise. I don't know what it was. It stopped. It hasn't started back again. I'm not hearing it today, so that's a good thing. So if it would just start working right. I didn't have to go buy another one. For this paper, it doesn't matter that you check and make sure that you got it going on right. But if you just make it a habit of doing it every time, just check that you've got it situated the way you want it. Then you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about forgetting to do it because you'll do it every time. Isn't that made it perfect, right? So, now I'm just going to get this down. come back later and make a regular card that's not a Christmas card or we might play I might play today Boy, I got that yellow ink all over me when you're gluing on the glitter like this glitter doesn't come off there's no shedding on my hands but it still is a rougher texture so i like to make sure and get good coverage on my glue now i have to figure out spacing in there does that look right yep all right and what's left so, oh, that's the dashing through the snow. Where's the other? Oh, here it is. The um, stamp. Star of Wonder, Star of Light, Star of Night. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one. And I'm going to check and see if I have one that says Star of Light. Or check Google to make sure it's supposed to say Star of Night. Because I thought it was Star of Wonder, Star of Light. So I would check on that. But there's our beautiful card. I love these dies. And you know, you could always make this yellow part kind of more rounded so it looks like light from the stars going out but so pretty 
so pretty. I like this gold because it's not too, too shiny, so I was able to put that glitter back behind it. So, all right, everybody. Thanks for joining me today for this video. If you like my video, please hit the like and subscribe button. I'm hoping to get up to 200 so we could do the 200 subscriber swap. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you'll join me again. Bye-bye now.